So today we're going to build a GCM transfer case. The kit looks like this. You should have your bearings in here and the two drive shafts as well as the case comes assembled so that you can see the halves are already mating before you start your assembly. And if you've purchased the complete kit you'll also receive two of these uh, hardened steel gears. So the first thing that you want to do is take apart the transfer case that comes in the kit. You'll see that the screws are already inserted, just uh, put in loosely. And then it'll take a little bit of work to actually open up the cases. And you'll see that there's a little ridge around the outside of the case here that fits very tightly into a ridge on the inside of the case right here, all the way around. That's going to be important when you go to reassemble it. So first what we're going to do is assemble the shafts. This is a very important step in the process because you have to make sure that the set screws are set right hard into the shaft so that they don't twist when you've got the extreme torque of your uh, motor on there. Now it's also uh, recommended that you use a blue Loctite. We like to use the uh, middle of the line strength and uh, it works real well and holds really strong without making it impossible to remove the parts. So our favorite method is simply to roll the screw in the Loctite and we're going to insert that into the uh, into the gear until it's coming through the, sh the bottom and then we'll put the shaft on and you're going to insert the gear so that it looks like this. Alright, so slide that on there and then once you get to the flat spot the, and you turn it a little bit, the gear will move on the shaft just a little bit so you just need to tighten that up. You don't have to make it tight when you're twisting but you do have to make sure that you've got the thread locker on there so that it won't come back out there's such a big flat on these shafts that there's no way for the shaft to twist when the screw is in. So this one's assembled and then we're going to add the bearings to each end. One bearing on this end and we'll put one bearing on this end and this unit is now ready to install. Here's a little assembly tip you see right here in the gear, you see that space right there between the bearing and the end of the gear? Make sure when you're doing your assembly that there is no space in there. Just like if you look on this side, on this side there is no space between the gear and the bearing. And if you have a space on this end between the gear and the bearing then you're going to end up with a little bit of binding in the case. So make sure that you push that bearing all the way to the end so that there's no more space. That way your case will have the most freedom when it's rolling. So we'll use the same on the short shaft. Now on the short shaft, make sure that you have the narrow end sticking out. This is the end for the output shaft. This end right here is the one for the gear. So first things first, We'll get our Loctite on here. Now, when these go together, you have to decide whether you want to assemble the T-case like this, or you want to assemble the T-case like this, or you want it like this, or you want it like this. There's four different ways of installing the gears the shafts so you have to make sure that the gears are both pointing in the same direction and you can decide whether you want your output shafts on the right or on the left. Now in our build as you can see we want the output shaft to go to the motor on the front side. 
so we're going to assemble this we're going to put the input shaft into the case it just sits in like that there's nothing else to do and the other gear so the teeth match okay you're also going to want to add a little bit of white grease here we use this kind of automotive white grease and basically you only need just a little tiny bit on the end of an applicator and just apply a little tiny bit of white grease to the gears and now we should have ready for the half to mate together to do that place both halves flat on the table like this and when you bring them over to slide together you should be able to seat the bearings and then while it's flat on the table simply push it together keeping it flat they're a very very tight fit and there we go so now your transfer case is locked together by the groove interlock that goes all the way around the transfer case and it's ready to install the screws so again with the screws we're going to use a little bit of blue on them all and we're going to put the screws in here remember to insert the screws on the same side as the input shaft the screws should go in the same way that the input shaft goes in they don't go on this side you need to put them on this side of the case the reason for that is if at some point you decide to add on the direct drive unit from GCM you'll need to make sure that you have the screw on the same side as the input shaft because that's the way the that's required for using the direct drive so once you have these screws in we're going to give them just a little bit of a snug they don't need a lot of pressure because the case halves are joined together by the mating surface that goes all the way down the center you don't need the screws to align the case so the case is already together the screws are only there to just keep it from p popping off and we've got a nice smooth gear case just like that done now we're going to install it in the truck <coughs> In our case, the gear case is going to sit right in here like this. And as you can see, the two holes right here almost line up perfectly with the with the axial uh, rock crawling mounting plate for the old motor. So all we have to do now is connect the drive shafts. the one that goes to the uh, direct drive unit and then the one that goes to the front and the one that goes to the rear and we'll attach it to the floor and there we have it